Let's have a session on the human resource flow. So this is the HR life cycle of employees from the point of recruitment to the leaving of the organisation. And for effective management of the human resource flow will enable the business to meet its HR objectives. Details on HR objectives, cards up there. So kind of phase zero really of the human resource flow is that you have a human resource plan. And this is a strategic document outlining the management of the organization's workforce, including recruitment, training, redeployment and redundancy. And that will ensure that you've got the right people with the right skills in the right place at the right time at the right cost. So the first phase of the human resource flow within that plan is recruitment. And recruitment is the cost of finding, attracting, employing staff. You will have the job analysis phase where you try to analyse what you need in terms of the description of the job and the person specification, the skills you're looking for. You might interview them if you've kind of if you have some shortlist that comes through. And then you will try and use the appropriate type of contract for that employee. Recruitment is most likely to happen in the growth stage of the product lifecycle. Second thing to think about is training. So training is the upskilling of employees with knowledge and skills to perform their job effectively. This could be on the job or off the job training, induction training, or it could just be simply giving them industry um, regulation awareness. And in terms of the product life cycle, because you can closely relate it to the human resource flow, well, it's likely to happen most in the introduction as well as the growth stages of the product life cycle because you're looking to give your employees that product knowledge, that customer service, and perhaps sales training because you're in the earlier stages of the product life cycle. The third phase is redeployment. Redeployment is the transfer of employees from one role or a department to another. The idea here is to retain employee talent, um, and it means that you're gonna have better workforce efficiency because you've got the right people in the right place at the right cost. It's likely that it's going to make sense in terms of um, when you've got a time of change that could be restructuring within the organization and it's likely to happen more in the maturity phase or the decline phase of the product life cycle and of course that will help you optimize your workforce the final stage of the human resource flow will be the redundancy phase and that's the process of terminating an employee's contract to reduce the workforce size and effectively reduce the capacity of the organization and that will most likely happen in the decline phase of the product life cycle. I'll see you at the next sesh.